welcome back to Mysterious City of the Gold. Rolling on once again with the kids on the search to the promised land. This is part 17. It's quite a long uh, playthrough, this one. Um, it's been a long journey, and it's going to be another couple more steps more to go before we reach the end of this long journey itself. It's of course, DJ Royster, and a moment in our adventure. Our three kids have been split apart. They're still searching for the point, location point where they can actually locate the actual city itself. So they're down this cave system. Um, hopefully down here in the caves I can find the true route to the city of gold. A um, couple of things have been a few issues, of course, as you've seen my channel. Um, I've now upgraded the ring, um, working with a few things. Got a wee bit of time off. If... So with that, I've got some wee bit of time off this week. And this week I'm going to actually be getting a chance to see if I can do a few things. What I'm looking for would be an um, upgraded intro video. Um, one that will be done um, put in front of all my videos. Just like a hallmark. And that will be placed on top of all my future videos right at the start. Um, I'm looking for that advanced sort of thing but I'll be working on that. Um, as soon as I put that up and running I'll have that uploaded. Um, sure things ha will be happening, I've still got in the process, will be some sort of, um, obviously thank you mes message. Um, I did complete the subscriber count that I was looking for, and still working the build on, um, sorry, view count I should be saying, not subscriber count. Things like subscribers, we're always looking for subscribers itself to the, the channel itself, uh, DJ Royster Entertainment, www. Uh, youtube.com dot slash uh, zero seven zero um, seven because it's 2007 when I made my channel but recent stuff has been happening over the last couple of years where I've been working on um, building my YouTube channel itself but um, yeah that's come up some of the future plans to look at um, present sort of plans, um, we're still continuing with Sticker Proof, Sticker Proof will be coming up um, later on this week. Um, also Broken Sword, it's nearing its end, we keep one eye on that. Final Fantasy 13, we're nearing the end of the story with that one, got a few of our retwists and turns started to come on that. Um, including my review of the game itself, I didn't do an RTP style thing for I did an RTP style thing for that, we reviewed the game, but it's been, since then there's been a few things I ran into which I found to be really silly with the game, so I'm going to have to review them before I give you the final section of the game, so because it's very relevant that um, I need to talk about a few things that really did, let's, know, let's be frank in this, really upset me when it came to Final Fantasy. Um, at the start of May, due to the season break of my season campaign for um, Star Trek Online, I have coming up a week-long edition around about um, from the 5th, first, uh, the 1st of May, right through to the 5 days as a feature-long um, episode which is converted into 5 parts. This feature-long episode will be The Secret of Nimbus 3 and it holds together all the Nimbus chapter into a wee mini-series. Um, all the episodes are linked together, so I decided to do a mini series for the whole week. I'll bring out an episode a day. So, a lot of my usual content will be shelved until then, so in case you know, I'm wondering. I know I end up talking a lot during my series of the gold because um, there's not a lot really to look at, but I usually do end up talking about um, my progress and videos and whatnot on this uh, platform. Is it's the best time to actually get a chance to feed back to my viewers. So everyone knows to look at Cities of Gold if they want to know about updates to my channel. 
Really tricky point in this, game, this area here. Got several guards here. How am I supposed to stay hidden and avoid all these guards? That's now near impossible. Look at the angle he's running at. I'm supposed to get out here where my indicator is. Before that guy turns around. What is Easy. Ah, there we go. Got in there. Ah. Power of the sun. The power of my hand. Search the girl. I should be able to search into this area. There's a lot of the distinct um, packages, so let's pick all these up. And these scrolls. There we go, that's them all collected now. And this will trigger oh the other sun down at the bottom. The scent is the band down the bottom now. Oh, no, I have to stay here. Let's stay right here. <laughs> no, didn't see anything. Nice to see here. Ah, ah, ah. Right. Oh, more switches. Now I can get past all the ducking the guard, ducking and dodging the guards again. Um, let's go up here. I can't go back out. Not there's anything she can do here. She's stuck in this side of the area. Let's check in case I missed anything, but not a single thing she can do here. Yeah, I mean, I'm always wasting, waiting on, wasting on, waiting on this man to do his thing. Right, in this section, more platform chaos. I need to somehow get her through here. Let's just switch this. There we go. Now I can switch back and get her moving. and see what's down here. A keyhole. I've got. I haven't got. I didn't even think I've got a key. No, I've not got a red key. No key. No key. That's the other section of the maze. So I believe he's to go this way since he's got to get this red key here. Oh, yeah, that guard at the top's awkward, and he's just con consistently pointing this direction. So none of them are turning. How am I supposed to get past? He's constantly looking that way, he's constantly looking that way. I get the bottom is not turning one single bit, I need to go up and round. There we go. The only way I have to go up and round. Right. Oh wow, he's turning that way, and then I go into that area, he turns round. He's constantly stuck it. Oh. That was a throw. I'll try again. Because he was, uh, he was constantly stuck that direction, so he had to turn around once, so that was a bit of nonsense there. I'm getting spotted apparently. I got him round this corner and he would just turn around in my face. Right, turn. Turn, baby, turn. Right. Right, I can just quickly grab his scroll. There we go. It's him at the way. But you dare see me. Oh, wow. Um. That guy's a pain in the ass. Go away from turn around again. No, okay, you're seeing it from that angle. Yeah, turn back that way. Oh no! No! Oh, this is put me at this side, but I need to collect those scrolls again. This bit's a this bit's a pain. He's out there waiting. I'm getting here right now. We'll see what's going on down below me. Right, let's see. The guy with the red key over there. Just send the bird across to get the red key. That's all I need. I need to be within view. Might find the fat guy. Right, get the barrel. The bird gets the key. Right, Ass has got the key. 
him it magically goes to her, so she can use the key at that point, so I'm all cool with that. I can I can deal with magic. Whoop. Um He's really annoying that guy. He's only benefits, he's got nowhere to go here. Oh um This is like really um tricky because there's a whole for some remote location, I've got a whole heap of guards guarding this area. Um, slightly OP garden system here. Right, get down the bottom. Oh, that's an interesting floor puzzle here. Um, should we have to hit trigger the switch here? Right, that's freeze heart. I'll go in here quickly, or maybe not. I'm going to turn, yeah, turn. I'll grab all these scrolls. Once he's got lost. Oh, wait. Go oh, away. Be tip. Stick your knife and go away. Right. No. Oh, I'm making a dash for it. <laughs> I'll just run away and save your life. Run away, run away, run away if you want to survive. Right, let's see. Um, Esteban's nowhere in sight. Um, I think I need Esteban to complete this puzzle. Oh, yeah, this is where Esteban comes into play. Interesting puzzle to get the middle chest. I need, a, I need, I need more levers. I have enough. I don't think I've got enough levers to complete this puzzle. Right. No. I've got an extra character here, so I can use it, and I presume. Oh, it's a lever. Now we get two sets of levers. Um, here we go. This is exactly what I need, and that gets me the chest at the top of the map. Right, all I need now is just to get Esteban across. Hmm. Is that? Oh. No. There we go. I'll run across this way. Right. One more step. One more harder to climb. We just need time to decode what exactly I'm doing here. What did you say? My book of knowledge. The Chinese dragon chooses between rain and good weather. The dragon, rain, and sun. I think that's your three. So, rain, dragon, sun. Uh, speaking of sun, with the power of the sun in your hand. Oh. The power of the sun moves boulders. The magical part of this journey. And through the bottom of the map, and that's um, that's all, folks. We've reached the actual location marker we're looking for. This could be the all sea rise. Level 27 chalked up, we're completed. Finish. 
Now let's find the City of Gold once and for all. are those of a dragon with six claws. Now... Perfect. And now... Did it all be lost? Maybe not. Really? Da, da, da. Join us next week for more journeys to the kids from the mysterious cities of gold. Catch you next time.